All right, guys, welcome to the channel. This is a request by one of the guys on my channel how to actually remove background sound properly using VTS plugins. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do it in this video. Uh, first thing you need to do is go to Reaper.fm, Replugins, and download the VTS plugins. Uh, preferably down the 64 bit. If you're having problems, download the 32 bit as well. You should be on a 64 bit operating system by now if you're on Windows 10. But if you're unsure, just download both and install both. Uh, once you've installed both, make sure OBS is closed and restart your system. Reboot OBS. When you come back up, what you should see in the mic, hit the gear icon, hit filters. What you should see in the plus, you go plus, then you should see right here, VTS plugins. And you should see this pop up, you install it, and then the drop down box, what you should see is a whole bunch of these uh, plugins now that you're able to use. Uh, there's lots of different variables you can use. What we're looking for is this one right here. The re for standalone. So we want to click that and then we'll click open it, plugin interface. This is going to be your EQ, which is going to do the map your sound and actually use it to actually remove background sound. Uh, so you can hear right, see right now I've already got my profile built from previous and this is actually removing background sound. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to remove uh, the VTS plugin so you can actually hear my noise. I'm going to explain how this works. I'll just uh, minimize this for now. Put this over here. And what we're going to see, I'm going to click this reset. You can click this little drop down box right here. And you're going to go to subtract. Make sure it's on the subtract button. And you're going to click reset if you have a profile already built the red line. And when the plugin is on, what you want to do is click automatically build noise profile. And then when you be quiet for about 5 to 10 seconds, and it'll pick up any background noise and then kind of filter that out. It's kind of like a. It's kind of like a really high-end noise gate and it works really really well uh, once you're done that you want to uncheck this button and that means your profile is built so that whole entire time you don't want to you don't want to be speaking at all just kind of being quiet so if there's fans in the background your computer fans house fans TV speakers um, radios shit going on in the background windows open making noise you want to be completely quiet when this is checked when you got it built where you like it uncheck the box and then it will stay where you got it built so we're gonna we're gonna build the profile right now, and I'm gonna show you what's gonna do. So there you go. It's built the basic profile, and uh, that's gonna be the red line is your actual profile where it's built for the sound removal. Uh, so what I've also found after doing this, you want to edit the profile a little bit. You want to tune the profile to uh, your likings. So what you're going to do is actually going to paint a line and what I find is about 80 hertz and below. It's actually 60 hertz which is where white noise or ground loop noise. That's the frequency of your outlets if you live in USA. Uh, if you live in uh, EU it could be a little bit different if you're on 220 volts. But if you're on 110, 120 volts in the United States of America or North America, that's the kind of currency we use. So uh, the frequency of this noise from electricity is 60 hertz. So you want to get rid of anything under 60 hertz and below because you'll get noise from your electrical outlets which will cause like static and random noises. So what I do is actually just grab your mouse, left click, hold it down, and then just paint this line right here. And I'll go to about 80 or so hertz. Uh, so about 82 is where I go and I stop there and just paint this line. Once this profile is built, you never have to worry about it again. I just go at zero because zero is basically clipping and you don't have to worry about zero. You never need to get to zero with your mic. If you do, you're having any other issues, you don't have to worry about it. So you should be like, on your microphone, should be like somewhere around 30 or 25 or something. So if this is up to zero, then you're good. The profile is built. And you can see over here where your noise is sitting. You, know, you should be somewhere, your microphone volume should be somewhere in the, in the orange. You never want to be uh, somewhere on the edge of the green, into the orange. You never want to be into the red. So you can see where your peaks are. That's what it means you got good volume, good stable volume, good consistent volume. And you can see your profile working. You can always go back and listen to the recording, see how it sounds, if the background noise was removed or not. And like I said, for the rest of these profile settings, just leave this all default. I don't touch any of this. It's all I do is do the subtract, build the profile, click it closed, close that, and then I'm done. I'm ready to stream or do recording. And 90% of my background noise is removed. Obviously, if your wife's yelling or someone's making noise, it's going to come over that noise anyways. You can't do anything about it. But the majority of the quiet noise in your room or any kind of outlet noise or 
interface noise that you're getting is going to be most likely removed as you hear the difference on my microphone. So I hope that helps you understand how to do uh, background removal with VTS plugins.